Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra is already making waves, but now things just got a lot more interesting. For months, everyone assumed the Ultra would run on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, just like the last three Ultra models that exclusively use Snapdragon chips. But a new report is shaking things up, suggesting Samsung might actually bring back its own Exynos chip for the Ultra after four long years. That's right, the Exynos 2600 could end up inside the Galaxy S26 Ultra. At first, this sounds like deja vu and not in a good way. We all remember the mixed reactions to Exynos versions of older Galaxy flagships. Snapdragon variants were usually faster, cooler, and more efficient, while Exynos models struggled with heat, battery drain, and performance dips. So you can imagine why fans aren't exactly thrilled to hear this news, but here's where it gets interesting. The Exynos 2600 isn't just another chip. It's built on Samsung's brand new 2 nanometer process, making it the world's first 2 nanometer smartphone processor if it launches early next year. On paper, that means better efficiency, higher performance, and potentially an edge over Qualcomm's 3 nanometer Snapdragon 8 Elite. Early Geekbench scores even suggest the Exynos 2600 outperforms the Snapdragon 8 Elite in single-core and multi-core tests, and even edges out Apple's iPhone 16 Pro in some areas. That's huge. Samsung has also reworked its cooling system with something called a heat path block, designed to keep temperatures under control. And instead of relying on AMD for GPU tech, they've built their very first fully in-house graphics processor with help from Huawei engineers. It might not dominate right away, but it sets the stage for Samsung to grow its GPU game in the years ahead. Of course, numbers on paper don't always tell the whole story. The biggest challenge for Samsung isn't just making the Exynos 2600 powerful, it's convincing people to trust it. Many buyers still believe Snapdragon equals better, and that stigma won't disappear overnight. Samsung's marketing will need to focus less on nanometers and benchmark scores and more on real-world stuff people actually care about. Smoother gaming, longer battery life, stable performance, and no compromise on camera quality. So, will the S26 Ultra really ship with Exynos 2600? Honestly, it's still up in the air. Some reports suggest only the Pro and Edge models will use Exynos, while the Ultra sticks with Snapdragon worldwide, like it has for the past three years. Others claim the Ultra might also get the Exynos treatment, at least in some regions. If Exynos does make it to the Ultra, and if it truly delivers on these early promises, then Samsung could finally break the cycle and prove its chips are just as good, or maybe even better, than Qualcomm's. And if that happens, we might even see Samsung keep prices steady instead of hiking them up again. Now that would be a win for everyone, but for now, it's all rumors, leaks, and speculation until Samsung officially unveils the Galaxy S26 Ultra in early 2026. What do you think? Would you trust an Exynos-powered Ultra, or would you rather stick with Snapdragon no matter what? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.